since I got the bitch running last night, it is now daytime, as you can probably tell by the light outside. Uh, I am going to, well, I got it to temp, uh, found a few, well, found a oil leak up at the oil pressure gauge under the dash. Um, it was kind of minor, but uh, I still tightened it up because leaks are bad and leaks have priority. I also had a fuel leak on the input, right, uh, if that will focus, right there in the middle. Um, so tightened all those up, got the fuel leak because it was dripping down onto the manifold, header, whatever the hell that is. So that's no good for no one. Um, but my once I got it to temp and kind of got everything half-ass dialed in, I uh, just checked my AFR and I'm sitting around 12 to 1 at idle. So I'm going to swap out my idle jets, which are, if I can get my finger in the screen, the ones that are in that top corner there where I was just kind of half-ass shadowing. When you pull them out, uh, that's what they look like. It looks like I got some... Come on. Focus, focus. Meh. There we go. I got 52s in it right now, so I'm gonna swap them down to 50s. I got uh, 135s in my mains just to be safe-ish. Um, I also have a selection of 115s and 110s for the mains, so if uh, all this doesn't pan out, um, I'll go out and buy some 125s, cause I think I'm too rich, but uh, I won't know until I actually get the thing under load on the street and add some boost to it. So I'll keep you guys updated. Kind of half-assed cleaned it up, got the seat mounted, uh, popped it in gear and such. And uh, yeah, it uh, does not want to drive, does not want to rev up, even not in gear over about 2000 RPM. So uh, I was thinking, okay, maybe my MSD is programmed to about 2000. But I was looking at my AFR and it was telling me I was going super rich, like under 10 to 1. So what I'm doing currently is removing the uh, restrictor plates that I took my time. Yeah, there we go. These little cocksuckers uh, that I took my time and built. Um, I'm pulling them off to see if a little more air to the mix is going to help things out. Um, yeah I'll let you know but um, one thing I found is changing out the jets in this thing super easy just pull off the uh, the boost tube to the hat and then throw a piece of 3 8 I guess fucking just rubber hose will work but uh, I was using a n line because that's what I got around crack those two just loose throw the AN or hose over it unspin it you can pull out the whole assembly and it uh, comes out pretty scoop. I'm, I know I'm a little rough around here. I'm going to build some plates to cover it up. But this gives me a lot of access to get my clamp in there. So so before I pull them out, this is just a side-by-side -side view. You can see how much restriction there is. And you can actually see, looks like there's uh, fuel kind of puking up all around the sides of the gasket there. So, uh, oh geez, I got some dust knocked in there. Fuck it. Um... Yeah, so opening them up is probably not going to be a bad thing. Uh, they are sized about 3 mil smaller than the Venturi, but uh, it might be too much restriction. So pull it out and try it out, I suppose. So I figured out my fueling spark yada 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 issue. And it turns out my linkage uh, that I hooked up, I only hand tightened, and the linkage bar fell off. So I was only trying to rev up one side. Uh, it makes really cool turbo engines now, and well, that makes me happy. Uh, yeah. So I'll take you on the drive. It is loud, loud as fuck, and uh, super janky, a little sketch, but uh, zero fucks are given. And on that day, nary a single fuck was given. Turbo noises! Oh god, that makes me happy! Uh, throttle response is uh, pretty decent, better than naturally aspirated. 
Um, you can definitely feel the turbo kick on. It's kind of like a two-stroke in that way. the camera's pointing somewhere fucked up and uh, all you can see is my shit eating grin. Don't care because it is a big shit eating grin right now. <laughs> I don't have to make those sounds anymore. My car does for me. Did the inaugural test run last night, came into a few minor problems. Um, the most major is I kept blowing my main fuse for the uh, ignition power, so I lost my MSD, lost all my lights, um, so the car shut off. And I think I know what the problem is with that. Um, and then the other one that I have is my license plate here is rubbing pretty hard into my exhaust so my solution for that is throw a uh, t-bolt clamp on there because that'll help hold the shit together and give my license plate somewhere to rub um is it the greatest solution eh. but it is a solution for the time another being. issue i had yesterday was uh the fuel pump sounds like absolute shit and what it turned out to be on the fuel pump was it was just clogged with a whole bunch of schmegma from in the tank. Uh, when I was cutting, grinding, and welding the tank up to relocate the fuel neck and to plug up where the old fuel neck was, as well as the bungs in there, uh, I cleaned it out as best I could, but I mean, I only got a little tiny 3 8 hole to go through because my neck actually necks down inside, so I get a little bit of uh, splash volume in there. But um, yeah, it turned out that... Uh, uh, I had a whole bunch of, none of them were metal filings, but a lot of it was like the uh, abrasive grinding disc shit. Um, it's kind of cycling through, so I've cleaned it two or three times now. Um, and each time I clean it, it's a longer period of time between when I clean it and I'm getting less shit out of it. So hopefully the tank's kind of self-cleaning at this point. Um which is good. Um, I'm still glad I put the fuel filter in because Lord knows I would have fucking disgusting amounts of problems if that was all in my carbs. Um, uh, back to the electrical issue where it was shorting out. So my boost and my oil pressure gauge have hard lines coming out of them, which is the 3 16th brake line, which is those right there. Boom. boom. Um, and what was happening is, as I was going down the road, it was bouncing and it was shorting out to the either the fuse block, which would be kind of right under where the boost gauge was, or to the distribution block that I have in there, which is right under where the oil pressure was, which popped my fuse instantly. But that's the whole reason we got fuses in things, is so uh, we don't start a fire or blow electrical circuits. Um, I'm pretty good with doing electrical stuff. Uh, I'll never say I'm an electrical guru by any means, but uh, I know all my wiring in here is as shitty as it is um, just because I had, didn't trim my lengths and 90 my things because I was trying to get this on the road. Um, I know all my electrical is good, the theory behind it. Um, so it was just routing. So I just hacked up some one by one aluminum blocks, drilled a quarter inch hole in them and got it bolted up under the dash, which gave me another half an inch clearance, uh, between the boost and the oil pressure gauge. Haven't had an issue since probably gone about 50 miles, 40, 50 miles. Um, so yeah, that took care of that problem. Other problems I had on the back end is my charge circuit wasn't working, which I did not use the factory uh, battery charge light 
Um, but I did still, oh man, that's dirty. Did still want one in there, so I went with the LED one. Um, that way it would kind of pop and be right in my face uh, if I did throw a belt, which would tell me to pull the fuck over because I have no air cooling over my cylinders. So when uh, uh, the light came on one day at work, pulled right into a parking lot, figured I threw a belt or snapped it or whatever. No, nope, belt was still on, so my charge system wasn't charging. Didn't think too much of it. Figured, okay, maybe the LEDs seeing the tenth of a volt or whatever, and it could fire up that way. Uh, maybe not with a tenth of a volt, but or sorry, maybe it's seeing partial ground and it's firing. So, uh, being that this is a whole new system to me uh, with the LED and all that stuff, um, I didn't think too much of it because it was still running fine. The belt was still on. Uh, but when I went to go leave work, I ended up draining out my battery and it turns out that the charge wire, which is that white one there, I got going right off the alternators to the starter uh, instead of straight to the battery because it was a shorter, easier run. And uh, just how I had it routed, I think it was grounding out. Um, so I just rerouted some lines, cleaned it up and uh, haven't had an issue with that yet or since, I should say. Um, and then on my way home, it started just popping and farting and sounding like shit. And uh, checked my fuel pressure, which was right at two and three quarter pounds um, at idle, but it, it just had no power. I ended up having to push it the last half walk, which I'm glad this is roughly 1300 pounds because it was an easy push. Um, and I'll show you what that problem was. There is the culprit there, so um, you might notice it's a little black and sooty. Ah, there we go. Not knowing what kind of boost pressures I was going to hit or, well I knew it was rich but I didn't think it was that rich. I am assuming I am too cold of a range because I went two ranges colder than OE on the plug. So I got a stock plug which I'm going to put back in. Um, but they're not cleaning themselves, which tells me that the heat range is a little out because um, I'm not making the cylinder pressures that I thought I potentially could be making, um, which is fine. I mean, this is all a learning curve, but um, yeah, I got new, brand new plugs. I'm going to throw those in and uh, I'm going to try leaning out my top end, which I... Yeah, I'm gonna do my main jets. I got 115s in the mains right now. I'm gonna swap those down to the 110s and I'm probably gonna go out and get some uh, air correction jets, which uh, from what I've researched kind of work in the upper end, the 4000, which it's kind of a dog there. Um, like I have power, but it's not not what it should be. I feel as if I have a lot more power in the lower end. Um, and it should be ramping up still in the 4,000 range. So I'm going to get some air correction jets, try to lean it out a bit in the top end and uh, see if that helps out. <laughs> yes. Am I right? Is yes. it like a two stroke? You can feel that power band? Oh, that is amazing. <laughs> that is amazing. <laughs> I got him 
to smile. <laughs>